So I abandoned that idea and went back to Miriam. So we're in chapter 19, Rabbi Eliezer de Miller, and we're on page 133. So we'll start from Amar Amar, Master said. Okay. Which is just a bit down. It's the fourth line down. Amar Amar, Basar. So we were talking about Basar yesterday. Mm-hmm. On, on the eighth day, the flesh, Basar, of his foreskin shall be circumcised because it had both Basar and Orlato, right? Yep. Um, Afal Pishiyasham Baheret Yimol, even though a Baheret spot is there on the foreskin, which is part of Taraz, I think. Yep. Um, he shall perform the circumcision. Divrei Rabbi Yoshia, these are the words of Rabbi Yoshia. Ha Lama Likra, now why do I need a verse for this, cutting off the Baharev is an unintentional act. And an unintentional act is permitted. It's only needed according to Rabbi Yehuda. He said an unintentional act is forbidden. Uh, another explanation, Rav Amar. You can even say uh, that it accords with Rabbi Shimon. Modeh Rabbi Shimon be bisikrei she velo yamut. Rabbi Shimon concedes that you're liable in an inevitable consequence. Aha, uh-huh. meaning the same, the same same reasoning holds true for Rabbi Shimon. I think that's what it means. Vabaye late lay hai svara, and Abaye does not agree with this understanding. Both of them said, Rabbi Shimon concedes that you're liable in an inevitable consequence. Batar deshama merava svara. After Rabbi heard this from Rava, he contemplated and accepted it. Ika dematne lahada bayeva rava aha. There are those who teach uh, this uh, disagreement between Abai and Rava as concerning this verse. He shamer benega hatarat lishmome od velasot. Take heed concerning the affliction of taras to be very careful and to do. Laasot, to do. This implies i ata ose. You may not do it. Aval However, you may do with unintentionally with the best on one's foot. Uvamot she'al and with a pole on one's shoulder, v'im avra avra. And if the baharit comes off, it comes off. And what they seem to be talking about there is that it's incidental, as long as you're not doing incidental. it deliberately. That's what it is to remove the symptom. The the best is the is uh, your shoelaces. Um, okay, the, he just translates as a thick rope. Okay. Uh, but why do I need a verse to teach this? Removing the Baharet, uh, doing these things, was an unintentional act. An unintentional act is permitted. The verse is needed only according to Rabbi Yehuda, who said an unintentional act is forbidden. The Rav Amar, Rabbi Shimon, you can even say it's with Rabbi Shimon, or Modeh Rabbi Shimon, Bifsik Reishe Veloyamot, and Rabbi Shimon concedes that you're liable in an, in an inevitable consequence. Rabbi Elit Lehai Svara, and Rabbi does not agree with this understanding, but Abba and Rava both said, Rabbi Shimon concedes in an inevitable consequence. 
Levata de Shame Med Mirava Svara. And after Abaya heard this from Rabbi, he contemplated and accepted it. I don't think that's necessarily the same. If you're going to tie your shoelace or, or carry something over your shoulder, it's, it's your primary intention. I like should imagine. Even, but you're not even thinking about it. If your primary intention is to put the pole on it over your shoulder in order to carry it to a certain place or to have a, certain, a load on the end of it, you know, like... Except when you're cutting the foreskin and there's a beheret, mm. like it's right in front of your face. Mm. But this, putting your shoes on, slugging something over your shoulder... Or tying a rope around your ankle, which is... Right, is tying a rope around your ankle... Okay. Uh, yeah, it seems like a much further away. Maybe there, maybe these are things that people would do to get rid of the symptoms, and they're saying oh. that if you do it unintentionally. It's okay. So if you're but if you're doing it deliberately, then oh. it's not permitted. Maybe okay. that's what they're getting at. Maybe that is what they're getting at. Babaye and Abaye. Aliba the Rabbi Shimon Hai Basar, Mayavidle. What did he do with the flesh, the word flesh, Basar, according to the opinion of Rabbi Shimon? Ama Ravamram, the Omer Lakot Baharto, whom is Kaven? Concerning uh, an adult who tells uh, the the moil to cut off his beheret spot, intending to be purified. Tainak gadol, this is appropriate for an uncircumcised adult. Katan mai ikalamema for a minor. Uh, what is there to say? Amar Rav Meshar Meshar Shia, but Omer Avi Haben Lakot Baheret Divnohu Ka Mitkaven. It's concerning where the child's father states that he intends to cut off his son's beheret spot, intending to get his son purified. Well, it, he doesn't extend it beyond that. What's the last mitkaven for? It just says, Meshav Shia said, and then he expands, the teaching applies in a case where the father of the circumcised child says that his intention is to cut off his son's bright white leprous spot. Mm-hmm. The Gemara asks, in that case, the Ikachar, but if there is another one, another person, uh, who can re- be responsible for the circumcision? Yeah, who, present who can circumcise the child, let the other person perform the circumcision. Yeah, then, yeah. The, then the, I suppose there, the thing is that the other person will not have the same intention as the father. The other person's intention mm. will be to circumcise, will not be to remove the leprous spot. Mm-hmm. I think that's probably very easy there. Mm. Mm. Yes, that's what he says. I wonder if... We could talk about... Purification. So I'm wondering if they really mean for healing. Maybe it's both. Maybe what it means is if the, this bright white spot, the symptom, is removed physically and it's no longer there, then the person can uh, sort of go to the mitzvah and complete all those things that are associated with your purification. Because until the bright white spot's gone, you can't do anything about it. Mm. Maybe it's a combination of the two ideas. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Damar Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish. Koma kam shatamotse ase velotase. Wherever you encounter a positive commandment and a prohibition in conflict, im atayachola kaim shnehem mutav. If you can observe both of them, it's preferable. But im lav, if not, yavo ase vidche lotase. Let positive commandment come and override the prohibition. Deleka acher. Indeed, the teaching is where there is no other person than the Father. Amamar. Yom Tovena Dacha Ela Bismana Bilvat. Circumcision overrides the festival only at its proper time, Menahane Mile. From where do we know this? Ama Chizkia Vachen Tano Devez Chizkia. Chizkia said, and so of Chizkia's academy taught. Ama Kra. The verse states, Lo Tatiro Mimeno Ad Boker. You shall not leave any of it until morning. You shall not leave any of them until morning. He, he gives the rest <coughs> of the quote. But that which remains of it until morning, you shall burn with fire. She'en tamud lomar ad boker. It is not necessary for the Torah to state until morning the second time. Ma tamud lomar ad boker. What does the Torah teach us with the second until morning? Ba hakatuv liten lo boker shnei sheni. Lisrefato scripture the Pasuk comes to give the Pesach offering a second morning for its burning. Meaning the first morning Kholamoe. Abaya Mara Makra Abaya said the Pasuk states about the Shabbos Musaf offering. Olat Shabbat Bashabata. The Allah offering of each Shabbos on its own Shabbos. Um, that lo olat chol b'shabbat, but a weekday Allah is not on Shabbat, not burned on Shabbat. But lo olat chol b'yom tov, and a weekday Allah is not burned on a festival day. Rava ma makra. So these are these are all sources of why we don't circumcise on a festival unless it's the appro- unless it's the eighth day. Yeah. Rava Mama Amakra the, the Pasuk says Hu Levadoya Aselachem uh no work may be done on them except for that what must be eaten for any person. Only that may be done for you. What did it say? No work may be done on them except for what must be eaten for any person. Only that may be done for you. Ah, so it's in regard to the Chagim. The work you're allowed to do in Chagim. Mm-hmm. Hu, as in, Hu levado yase lachem. Hu velo machshirin. The word Hu implies, or the extra Hu, that you are not allowed to do any of the preliminaries. Of food, of food preparation on the Chag. I'm pretty sure that's what it's saying. So you want me to read his expansion? Yeah. Uh, well, is it just is it just that you're not allowed to prepare food prior to prohibited labors are permitted for sustenance on a festival and are not permitted for other mitzvot. Now, prohibited but other mitzvot. Shall I read the whole? Sure. Rafa said, there is a different proof. As the verse states with regard to festivals, and he quotes at length, and in the first day there shall be to you a holy convocation, and in the seventh day a holy convocation. No matter of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat. That alone may be done for you. The superfluous that in the verse teaches the following. That which is necessary for food preparation itself is permitted, and not actions that facilitate food preparation on which, uh, or which prepare utensils necessary for eating. Similarly, that alone may be done teaches only food preparation may be performed and not circumcision that is not at its appointed time. 
which could have been derived through an, um, a Kalva Homa inference. Ah. Therefore, the verse emphasizes that, that alone may be performed to teach that prohibited labors are permitted for sustenance on a festival and are not permitted for other fault. Got it. I'll just finish off those last few words mm. and it'll repeat just the last bit of what you said. Levado velomila shalobismana. You cannot do... Uh, you can, on Yom Tov and Shabbos, you can't do circumcision unless it's at its proper time. To Archim Mikavah Chomer, the opposite of which would, you might have derived from a Kal Chomer. Hmm. Yamar, Shabbaton. So, in the Pasuk, in Vaikra, where it talks about two Yom Tov days in Sukkot, it says on the first day a solemn rest, Shabbaton, and on the eighth day a solemn rest, Shabbaton again. Aser hu, this constitutes a positive commandment. Vehava, uh, vehava le yom tov asever lo And so, yom tov is work on yom tov is prohibited both positively by positive and negative commandment. And a positive commandment, like a deferred miller, does not override the combination of a negative and a positive commandment. Sort of like algebra. Yeah. It seems to be what it's like. That an eighth day miller is performed on Shabbos in Yom Tov. Yom Tov. However, is derived from Rabbi Yochanan's extraneous uh, on the day. So we've learned that Miller does override a positive and negative commandment. Right, okay. Klal Amar Rabbi Akiva Vechule. So the next part of the Mishnah said Rabbi Akiva stated a general, a general rule which was any labor that can be performed on Shabbos Eve does not override the Shabbat Malacha restrictions and any labor that cannot be performed on the Shabbat Sea does override the Shabbat restrictions. Amar Rav Yehuda Marav Halachak Rav Yakiva Utnan Nami Gabe Pesach Ki Hai Gavna and we also learn like this in another Mishnah with regard to Pesach Klal Amar Rav Yakiva Kol Malacha any labor that can be performed on the Shabbos Eve. Where is this? This is in Pesachim. Eina docha et HaShabbat does not override Shabbos. Shechita she'i efshar la'asotah me'er Shabbat. But slaughtering, that would be the Paschal lamb, right. which is impossible to do on Shabbos Eve. Docha et HaShabbat does override Shabbat. Amar Rav Yehuda Amar Rav and Rav Yehuda said in the name of Rav Halacha Ka Rav Yehuda The law of cause with Rav Yehuda Just by the way, can you remind me that word Docha? I'm going to override Do you have the word override there? Does not yet override I need to remember that Utricha and it's necessary Dei Ashminan Gabe Milat. For if he had taught us with regard to uh, circumcision, Hatam Hu, it is there. Demachiran Efsha. Did I say in regard to circumcision? Hatam Hu. I would have thought it is there. Demachiran Efsha Lasos Me Etmo Lotachu Shabbat. That preliminaries can be performed yesterday. Do not. That can be performed yesterday. Do not override Shabbos restrictions. The Leka Karet, since there is no penalty of Karet, Aval, Pesach, but... Karet, if the circumcision is delayed. Yeah, Aval, Pesach, but with Pesach, the Ika Karet, where there is excision, for not fulfilling the, I assume, the uh, Pesach. Yeah. Um, Emelit Cho Shabbat, I would say its preliminaries should override Shabbat. The Iyash, when I go to Pesach, and 
on the alternatively, if Rabbi Yehuda had taught us uh, that Rabbi Akiva, the halakha accords with Rabbi Akiva only with regard to the the Paschal lamb, mishum delo nichrato aleil shalosh esrei britot. In as much as thirteen covenants were not made over the mitzvah of the Pesach offering. I would have thought it is there that preliminaries that can be performed beforehand do not override Shabbat. In as much as certain covenants were not made over the Paschal land of Al Miller, but with regard to circumcision. Over which thirteen covenants were made Emily Tchu Shabbat, I would say its preliminaries should override Shabbat. Tricha is therefore necessary for Rabbi Huda to instruct that the Halakha follows Rabbi Akiva who held that the preliminaries to a mitzvah may not be performed on Shabbat when, the, Shabbat when they can be performed beforehand. Okay. Mishnah? Mm-hmm. We may perform all the necessities of circumcision on Shabbat. Mohalin or forin or motetzin, we may circumcise, uncover the tip, and draw the blood. Benotin in alea is planit vechamon and place a bandage and come in upon it. In lo shachak me'er Shabbat, if one did not crush, come in on the Shabbat Eve, lo es beshina benotin. You can chew with your teeth and apply it, or you can not chew it. Do you mean chew it? Yes. Grind it? He chews it with his teeth and places it on the place of circumcision as a cell. As a cell. Im lo taraf yain veshemen me'er Shabbat. If one did not vigorously mix wine and oil on Shabbos Eve, <coughs> what was that for? Uh, a mixture designed to heal and strengthen the child. Aha. Uh-huh. Yinaten zeba atmo vezeba atmo. Each of the ingredients should be placed in the bowl by itself. Enos in la chaluk lechatchila, and we may not, in the first place, fashion a shirt like bandage for the shmekel. Aval korech aleha smartut, but one may wrap a piece of cloth around it. Im lo hit kin me'erev shabbat. If did not prepare a cloth on Shabbos Eve. Korech al etzbao mevi, he may wrap one around his finger and bring it, va'afilum mechatzer acher, and even from another courtyard. <coughs> That's a curious... Why would it even say even from another courtyard? Isn't the whole idea of em umevi? If it was in the same... If it was in the same um, reshut then what's the difference whether you can bring it or not? Well, he's expanded here by saying, while the sages permitted it to be brought, they required that it be performed in an unusual fashion by wearing it in the manner of a garment. Yes, but why... Why even from another courtyard? Of course well, it's from another courtyard. From well, there, there. No, you might have had a common courtyard. Uh, um, a courtyard with an area around it that three or four houses opened up into. But aren't we talking here about like going out into the Rishud Harabin and taking all these things with you? Maybe not. Maybe it's not. It's a good question. Okay. Mara. Mikdi Katane Kulhu, in as much as the town of states, uh, all everything of the procedure called Tarhemila Latoya May, what does all the necessities of circumcision include? Latoyu had the Tanu Rabbanan include this which the rabbis taught in Baraisa, Hamal, one who circumcises, calls Man Shehua Sekwamila, so long as he's engaged in the circumcision, Khaza bin Al Hatzatzitzin, Ma'akvin et Hamila may return both to the shreds that impede the circumcision, bin al hatzitzin and to the shreds, you have shreds, yep. uh, that do not impede the, the circumcision. Well, he uses the word invalidate. Invalidate, definitely invalidate. Definitely a better word. Peresh, 
if he withdrew from circumcising, meaning, I would assume, meaning leaving it invalidated, perhaps, or saying that, no, if he withdrew, if meaning he thought it was complete. Yeah. Al Sitin Ma'akvin et Hamila Khazir he may return to the shreds that invalidate the circumcision and cut them off. Al Sitin Sha'in Ma'akvin et Hamila Eno Khazir. He may not return to the shreds that do not invalidate the circumcision. Man Tana Peresh Eno Khazir, who is the Tana, uh, the more who says that the more withdraws and he may not return. I think what we're looking at here, yes, I read this here, but it seems to me, if he's done the job well enough for it to be a valid circumcision, then he can't break shutters any further. No, he's he's done the permitted break, and tidying up is not part of that. That would be an invalid. Mm. Breaking of Shabbat. Yes, the tidying up is a good one, isn't it? Mm. Should we keep going? Yes, yes. Ama Rabbi Barba Chana, Ama Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yishmael Benoshel, Rabbi Yochanan Ben Baraka, he, this, so they're saying the Tana is Rabbi Yishmael, the son of Rabbi Yochanan Ben Baraka, to Tanya, it was sort of a Baraisa, Arba Asa Shechal Liyot Shabbat. when the 14th in the Nisan falls on Shabbat, Hapesach ad hechazeh, sorry, mafshit hapesach ad hechazeh, one skins the Passover as far as the breast. We talked about this, yes, right? Yes, I remember. What did, they didn't use the word skins before. What was the word they used? Well, the one he uses here is flays. Flays! Uh, and doesn't keep on skinning. Divrei Rabbi Yishmael ben Asha, Rabbi Yochanan ben Baraka, the Chachamim on Rimav Shitinet Kolo, but the sages say we can skin, we skin its entire carcass. Mimai, from what proof uh, do you say this? Ad kan lo kama Rabbi Yishmael ben Asher, Rabbi Yochanan ben Baraka Hatam. Perhaps Rabbi Yishmael, son of Rabbi Yochanan ben Baraka, did not say there only Mishum de lo binan ze elivan vehil, because we do not require. Uh, Fulfillment of verse, this is my God and I'll beautify him. But here with Mila, where we require this is my God and I'll beautify him. It's indeed so that you would, uh, you can resume Mila. Detanya. For a son of Raisa, this is my God and I'll beautify him. Beautify oneself. So that means beautify oneself before him in commandments. Asela uh, uh, e.g. make before him a beautiful sukkah. The lulav na'eva shofar na'e, a beautiful lulav and a beautiful shofar. Tzitzit na'a sefer Torah na'e, beautiful tzitzit and a beautiful Torah scroll. Uchtav bo lishma bidyo na'a, and write it for his sake with beautiful ink. The kulmos. Na'e beloved lar uman, a beautiful pen uh, and an expert scribe. The chorcho beshirain na'in, and wrap the Torah in beautiful silk. Abba Sha'ul Omer, the anvehu hebe domelo. So the word for anvehu means be like him. It should, be, he says, should be interpreted as if it were written in two words. Ani Zahu. Ah, oh, good one. Me and him. Very good. Mahu Chanun Verachum, just as God is gracious and compassionate, Afata, hey, yeah. Chanun Verachum, you should also be gracious and compassionate. Excellent. Ela Ma Ravashi Hamani, who is this Tana? The one that says that who holds that the moil does not return to cut off the non invalidated pieces of foreskin. Non invalid. Yeah. Uh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Rabbi Yossi he did It was Rabbi Yossi because we learnt in a mission of Ben Shani Rabbi Alil. So they're bringing different 
Baraitas or mm-hmm. Mishnas said by different people to show similar situations to whether you're allowed to continue or not. Um, so Rabbi Yossi said, Ben Shemir Rabbi Alil, whether the new moon is clearly visible, or Ben Shalom Nir Rabbi Alil, whether it's not clearly visible, Zebran, Mechalo Lina Lav, Es HaShabbat, we desecrate the Shabbat, Shabbat because of it. Rabbi Yossi Omer, Nir Rabbi Alil, if the new moon is clearly visible, how do they desecrate it? Uh, here we are. Eyewitnesses who saw the appearance of the moon may desecrate Shabbat in order to go to the court and testify. That is, if they if they've seen it and they're beyond the Shabbat limit that you can walk, but he's seen the new moon on Friday night, he can go to bear witness of the court so the new moon can be announced. Because they all cease to light fires. Well, you wouldn't be able to do that, I don't but think. That's what I was thinking when it says desecrate Shabbos. Maybe it's talking about lighting the fire. Well, he's saying it's uh, desecrating it in order to go to the court and testify because there's no Shabbat, there's no new month, sorry, no Rosh Chodesh at that time. There was no Rosh Chodesh until the Sanhedrin announced it. Um, mm. It's only later that because of all the various difficulties, they started, um, you know, having a regular calendar so that they can use beforehand. That was done by Kilel Hakatan. Yeah, Kilel um, Yes, yeah, so that's exactly what Rashi says, that you go to the best gym. Um Near Rabbi Alil, if the new moon is clearly visible to everyone, and Machalina Lavet Tashabat, we do not desecrate Shabbat because of it. Me, my, from what proof do you say it's Rabbi Yossi? Dilma Adkan Lokama Rabbi Yossi Hatam. Perhaps Rabbi Yossi did not say there that um, witnesses can leave their tchum to testify. Ah, like it's, they can walk more than 2,000 mm. cubits. And what um, he points oh. out is. When it's clearly seen, they may not desecrate Shabbat, since other witnesses located nearer to the court will certainly testify. So it had been cloudy, bad weather. It's funny because how would you know whether someone a kilometre away can or can't see it? Well, if, you know, the weather conditions are bad and you've caught a glimpse of it and you know it's the new moon, then you suppose so. Because the cloud cover will be different, you know, a kilometer on. Yeah. Aval hacha dinit na Shabbat midachot, but here, for Mila, where the Shabbat is given to be overridden uh, at the outset, hachi nami, it is indeed so that Rabbi Yossi would condone resuming Mila. Which means that Rabbi Yossi is not the Tana of the Brisa. Ela Ro Nehadei, Nehadei, Rav the Nehadei and said, Rabbanan de Plige, Ale de Rabbi Yossi. He's the rabbis who argue with Rabbi Yossi. The rabbis who argue with Rabbi Yossi about Lechem Hapanim, Ditznan, Arba Akonim Nichnasin. Each Shabbos four Kohanim enter. Shnaim be Adam, Shnei Sedarim. Two, uh, carrying in their hands two arrangements of Lech Mapanim. Or Shnaim be Adam, Shnei Bazikin. And two, in the, carrying in their hands the two spoons of frankincense. But Arba Ah, Makdim, and Lifnehem. And four other Kohanim precede them. Shnaim. We told Shnei Sederim two to take away the two old arrangements of Lechem Apanim or Shnei Li told Shnei Bazichin and two to take away the two spoons from the, of the frankincense from the previous week. Hamachnisin omdim betzafon ufnei mladarom those will bring in stand on the north they're facing towards the south obviously. Hamotzin omdim betzafon ufnei mladarom those who are taking out stand on the south facing towards the north 
אלו מושכים ואלו מניחים, these withdraw and these place down. תבחו של זה, בצד תבחו של זה, with the hand of this alongside the hand of this. meaning their hands were close together as they were performing the removal and adding. Mishum shnema lepanai tamid, for it stated, you shall place showbread before me continuously. There's a little side note, an arrangement of the showbread. Can I just read mm, okay. just a few more words? Okay. Uh, you shall place showbread before me continuously. Rabbi Yossi Omer, afilo elu notzlin ve'elu manichin, even if these take away and these place down after their Hayat Tamid. This also would be considered continuously. Even if these priests were first to take old bread of the, off the table entirely, only after for these priests to place the new ones on the table, this too would fulfill the requirement the show grid be on the table continuously. Mm. Um, the arrangement of the show grid was carried out in the following manner. Eight priests entered the sanctuary, four carrying the new grid and bowls of frankincense, and four to remove the old grid and frankincense. The priests removed the old grid by sliding it off the table very slowly. The priests inserting the new Red immediately placed the loaves in the vacated spot mm-hmm. um, in accordance with the unattributed Mishnah. Uh, that's the favorite table according to. So you'd be pushing it in the slot and the other person would be taking it out mm-hmm. at the same time. Almost looks like a little tabernacle, doesn't it? Ready to be carried mm-hmm. out. Uh, I'm sure that's probably what it was for, right? Because they had to carry it. Mm. In, the, in the Mishkan. Yep. Mm. I'm wondering if they would have. Half, hmm. Now let him do the other half, meaning 
he did as much as he could do, but there are shreds left over. Mm. Why should I be liable? Um, Ralph Papa strongly objects to this. Why should the craftsman, he calls him, be liable? He says, this is impossible. You can't do it on Shabbat anyway. Let him say to those present, I performed half the mitzvah. Now you perform the other half of the mitzvah. I am not liable as I was engaged in performance of a mitzvah even though I did not complete it. Rather, Rav Papa said, the reference here is not to circumcision on Shabbat, but rather to the mitzvah of circumcision in general. The one liable for karet is an adult whose circumcision was not completed. He is not considered to have been circumcised according to halacha. Therefore, he is punishable by karet like one who was not circumcised at all. Matifla Ravashi Gadol Behed Yaktibe, the excision is expressly written with regard to an uncircumcised adult because it says the Ariel Zahara Sher Loimo, an uncircumcised male, the flesh of whose foreskin will not be circumcised. Then it says that shall soul shall be cut off from its people. I mean, we don't need a Baraisa to teach us an explicit teaching. Well, my covenant he has broken. He said it here. It was a full quote. Ah. Ella Amar Ravashi. Lolam Uman. In truth, it is actually the expert. O Kagon de Atta Bain Hashmashot de Shabbat. In a case where he came at the twilight of Shabbat. He came just before the conclusion of Shabbos Day. The Amule law misapkat, and people said you lack sufficient time to do it on the proper day before the conclusion of Shabbat. The Amar lehu misapkina, and he said to them, "I do have sufficient time to do it validly." The Avad. The law is tapek. He began performing it and did not have enough time. The ish takach de chabura hu davad, and so it resulted that it was a wound that he made. The anush karet, and he's punished with excision. I didn't get that last part. It turns out that he made a wound in the child, but did not fulfil the mitzvah. Um, and since he was forewarned not to do so, he is therefore punishable by karet. Oh, do you think he like, uh, he hurried up or something? Didn't do the job properly. So the child's only wounded, it's not circumcised. Of course. And like anyone who violates Shabbat not for the purpose of performing a mitzvah. So he's not performed the mitzvah. He's just wounded the child. Motsitim v'chulei, we may draw blood, etc. Amar Papa, hai umana de la mayet sakanahu. This expert who does not draw blood is creating a danger. The abri lay, and we dismiss him. Pshita, it's obvious. Mid ka machalalei alei shabta, since we desecrate shabbos because of blood, sakanahu. It is a danger. Oh, this is talking about drawing it out. Mahu de Tema, what is it that you would have said? Hai Damifkad Pakis, this blood is now stored up like in a vessel, Kamashmalan, Khaburi Mikhaber. Rapapa informs us that this blood can't be drawn without causing a wound. Vidumad is planit vachamon and Drawing blood is the same as that for applying a bandage in common. Ma is planit v'chamon, just as regarding a bandage in common. Ki lo avid sakanahu. If he does not do uh, use those utensils, it is a danger. Af hachanami ki lo avid sakanahu. Here as well, with drawing blood. If he does not do it, it is a danger, and therefore certainly and the drawing it blood. that he should be doing is sucking after circumcision. Yeah. 
drawing it out. Mm. Now I'm wondering if maybe it's given the time period you know, when it was done that way, yes. that some people still insist on doing yes. it, whether there's an enzyme or something in the mouth uh, when you suck it off that allows the blood to clot. Could be. Or something along those That's lines. That's interesting. I never thought about that. I was going to say that... Um, I was going to say that when my girls were much younger mm. and they were bleeding from a little cut or something and I would explain to them that it's a good thing. You know, let the blood come out and go around the area because it's clean and it kills the bacteria and it dries off and heals and, and lets it form a clot, you know, whatever. Maybe it's you know, sort of sucking it off. You're taking, I mean, they probably had these, uh, I mean, they didn't have our levels of hygiene. So sucking it off probably removed any infectious matter that might be on the knife yeah. when the cutting was done. And then maybe, I don't know, you'd have to ask a doctor, but maybe there may be an enzyme or something in the mouth that helps. I'll find that out. That's a good question. Do you want to say anything else? No, no, no. Uh, the note in Alea is planet. So is there oh, here, yeah, yeah, there's a little note. Go ahead. Sucking is a, the purpose of sucking is to prevent the closing of the blood vessels as well as to remove any infection that might be en have entered the wound by means of the circumcision scalpel. Mm. Yeah, that, that, that hygiene. That's the first part. The, yeah, the second part is something that might be worth looking into. Yeah. If, if it does sterilise the equipment. Clotting or something like that, that could be... Can I say the word dirt somewhere? Did we read that? Did we use the word dirt? I don't think so. No. But not in Aleha is planet, and we may place a bandage upon the wound, and come in upon the wound. Amar Abay Amra Aleha M. Abay said, Mother told me that is planita the whole horn kive yourself for all pains shav minaye tarba vachada kira seven parts of fat and one of wax uh, 57. right that's what Rashi says rava ma kira ve kalva dirishana rava said wax and resin dirasha rava bim chaza rava taught a medical secret in the town of Mechaza. Kar inhu finei manyumi asya le manayevo. The family of manyumi, the physician, tore their garments. In misery he had, as he taught everyone how to make a bandage and their services would no longer be required. Amaleho, Rabbi says then, Shav ki lechuchad, I left you one secret, which I didn't reveal. Dama Shmuel, for Shmuel said, Hai man demashe ape velon nagev tuva. Regarding the one who washes his face and does not dry it well, nikturu le chaspanita, boils will break out on his face. Mai takante, what is his remedy? Limshe tuva bemai to silka, letting wash well in water in which beets have been cooked. <laughs>